Becky, Jarrah's here from Fandom Knitting and Crochet, and what I want to talk about today is blocking. I am about to block my lizard shawl from the Crochet Along, and I thought I'd give everybody a little bit of a how-to on blocking the way that I do it and works for me so far. I have the Knit Blocks, which are from Amazon, and so they come in this nice little case, and they're styrofoam blocks so as you can see I have mine assembled into a grid and it's just a nice way to make sure that you're even and all that kind of stuff with the lizard it's not going to be a perfect circle or rectangle so it's not as important to have that but that's still the way that I like to set up the blocks so what I'm doing is starting with my lizard as you can see it's all curly on the edges they're curling over and even though I added the border, I don't particularly love that. So I'm going to try to block this out. What I do is I grab a towel, like just a regular hand towel, and make sure it's pretty damp. So it's not sopping. There's no drips coming off of it, but it is pretty damp. And I use that to make sure that the shawl is moist. Now, I normally work shawls in at least part wool. And this is the process I use for that. This one in particular is acrylic, but it should still work out the same way for the most part. So I'm just going to set my towel onto my shawl and sort of push down so that the water dampens the shawl. So I don't want the shawl to get really, really wet, but I do want it to be damp so that it's easy to maneuver and pull apart. So I'm just going to go ahead and make sure my entire shawl is damp from the towel. So I'm going to go over here, make sure to get the corners and soak that in. Some people do like to soak their work in wool wash or um, submerge it completely in water. I don't mainly because I'm impatient and I don't want to wait for that to dry. And I just feel like this works just as well for me, so that's what I like to do. I'm kind of squeezing the water into it a little bit, making sure it's really damp. And once it's nice and damp, what I do is spread the shawl out. And what you're going to need are these stainless steel T-pins. So the Knit Blocks packet comes with these, but... You can also get these at any craft store. And these are nice for sewing, but they also work really well for blocking knitted items. So let me open one up. So it's just a little stainless steel T-pin. And that's what I'm gonna use to pin all the edges down for my shawl. So I'm gonna start it way over in the corner. I like to start just on one end and kind of work my way around. You do wanna have it kind of spread out in the, the manner that you want it to be before you start pinning, just to make sure it's gonna fit on your blocking surface. If you don't have these blocking mats, that's totally fine. Any flat surface will really do the job. So if you put it out on your bed or your floor, um, if you put it on a floor or a bed, I would just lay a towel underneath it uh, just to keep it kind of contained in that one spot and to soak up any of your water. Mine didn't get damp enough, so I'm just squeezing some more water into it. That's another thing with acrylic. Sometimes it just doesn't absorb a lot of water, so I'm learning as I go here with this, because again, I usually make things that are at least partially wool, but it'll still work out. Okay, so once I have it kind of laid out how I want it to be, making sure it fits on my blocking mats, I'm going to make sure my pins don't go flying anywhere. Then I'm going to start pinning it down. And I guess it would make a lot of sense to pin it in the middle and then work your way around. But I kind of like to always start at one end. That's just what I do. So I'm going to make sure my middle is still there and that the shell is going to fit. And then I'm going to go over to my end and put the pin in. So you just want to find a spot and slide the, the stainless steel pin right in. So what you're gonna do then is sort of stretch it out a little bit. So you're gonna want to take the damp shawl, stretch it out. I like to do about a hand width. So 
spread my fingers out about a hand width and then put my next pin in. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going that way through the shawl all the way around the edges. I'm also gonna shape it as I go. So if I want it to be straight across the top, that's the way I'm gonna block it. If I want it to curve a little bit, that's the way I'm gonna block it. So you can kind of manipulate it during this process into the shape that you want. So about a hand width again and another pin. Now, we'll pretend I've gone all the way around the top edge. On this particular shawl, the lizard, there are all these different little, I don't know, dragon <laughs> scale looking things here. And you do wanna make sure that those are accentuated. So when you get to one of those, I would just pull it out a little bit, make sure that it's really shown off. So pull that down and get your pin in there and it will be more pointy and um, shown, showing off that detail better when the shawl dries. So that's that. Um, I'll take a break, pin this, and come back and show you what it looks like all pinned. Hey everybody, Jaris again from Fandom Knitting and Crochet, and this is my lizard shawl that I was blocking. I got it all pinned down. I almost didn't fit it all on the board. I did end up kind of curving it a little. After you get it all blocked and it's it's damp, take a look if there's anywhere that you might need to add pins. So I was going about a hands width apart, but there are a couple spots that could use some more pins. Like right here, it's kind of drooping further than I'd like it to. So go ahead and add any pins in those kind of droopy spots just because it will dry in the shape that you have it pinned. So if there's anything that you don't like about the way it looks, adjust it now. Now, I said mine was damp. It's pretty damp. I think it could even be a little damper in some spots. Again, if you're using acrylic, it's really hard to absorb water with it. So you wanna make sure you're kind of pushing down into your project to make sure that it's damp enough to hold the shape and retain it. And then what you're gonna do is just let this dry. So probably overnight or maybe even uh, 24 hours or so, depending on how damp your project is. And then when it's done, you just pull the pins out and voila, it'll be ready to go.